Since its introduction in 1968, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography has become a common endoscopic procedure for diagnosing and treating biliary and pancreatic diseases. However, ERCP is a highly specialized procedure, and compared with other endoscopic procedures, it is associated with a higher risk of severe complications, including acute pancreatitis, bleeding, infection, and perforation. In an effort to reduce the incident PEP, a number of pharmacological agents have been studied, and many agents, for example, allopurinol, corticosteroids, and octeotride, showed promising results in pilot studies but failed to show a benefit in large scale, randomized studies, and meta-analyses. Recently, a large-scale, multi-center, randomized, placebo-controlled study by Elmunser et al. demonstrated that rectal endomethacine significantly decreased the rate of PEP from 16.9% to 9.2%. P equals 0 0.005. However, as prophylactic pancreatic stents, which have been shown to significantly reduce the incidence of ERCP-induced pancreatitis in high-risk patients, were placed in more than 80% of the studied population, the true efficacy of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs needs to be confirmed in further, sufficiently powered, randomized trials without pancreatic stent placement. Somatostatin may potentially inhibit pancreatic secretion and has been investigated for PEP prophylaxis. However, clinical trials have produced inconsistent results on its prophylactic effect. It remains unclear whether somatostatin should be administered before ERCP to prevent pancreatitis. In view of this controversy, a large-scale multi-center randomized controlled trial was undertaken to determine the prophylactic effect of somatostatin on PEP. Background and study aim. Post-endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography pancreatitis remains the most common complication of ERCP. Somatostatin may inhibit pancreatic secretion and has been tested for PEP prophylaxis. However, the results of previous studies are inconsistent. The aim of the current study was to investigate whether somatostatin can reduce the incidence of PEP. Patients and methods. A total of 908 patients with normal amylase levels who were undergoing ERCP were randomized to receive somastatin 250 milligrams of bolus injection before ERCP and 250 milligram per hour intravenous infusion for 11 hours after ERCP somastatin group or no somastatin treatments control group. The incidences of PEP and hyperamylosemia were compared in the two groups. Results the full analysis set included 900 patients, 445 in the somastatin group, 455 in the control group. PEP developed in 34 patients, 7.5% in the control group, and in 18 patients, 4.0% in the somastatin group. Hyperamylosemia occurred in 46 patients, 10.1% in the control group, and in 27 patients, 6.1% in the somastatin group. No perforation or death occurred during the study. Conclusions This study showed that somostatin was effective and safe in the prevention of PEP and hyperamylosemia in ERCP patients.